a 12 pound base weight for multi-night trips. Very comfortable to carry, and it's not skimping on much. So what's in my pack? Well, let's drive north for a couple hours, take a little walk, and then I'll show you. All right, let's walk. All right, you caught me. I'm not backpacking. I'm car camping today. I'm kind of trying to nurse this undiagnosed foot injury that I have, so I'm taking it easy. But aside from the canopy, the table, and of course a cooler of beer, I'm really just car camping out of my backpack gear. So I figured, why not? Better time than any to talk about the gear that I've been using. So I have here a 12 pound lightweight gear loadout for three season backpacking. I don't know the weight of every single item in here off the top of my head, so I will put the weight right up here as I pull them out of the backpack. I will also include a link to my lighter pack in the description, and in that lighter pack list, I'll try to link as much as I can. So again, this is just base weight. This is not food, fuel, water, total weight that I'm carrying, uh, not the consumables. This is just all the gear that I bring with me. So we'll start from the outside of the pack and work our way in. So let's start on the front here. So on my shoulder strap, I have my Garmin in reach mini. I think everyone should have some sort of satellite communicator with them just in case of emergency and you don't have cell serviced or if your cell phone is dead. So I think that is important to have. On either side pocket, I have a one liter smart water bottle. In this pocket, I also have my Kulo Clean Bidet and a dedicated 700 milliliter smart water bottle for it. Yes, I use a dedicated bottle so I don't reuse my drinking water bottles for my backcountry bidet. In this hip belt pocket, I have my Opinel number eight pocket knife. I don't think I really need anything more than that. Usually in this hip belt pocket, I would carry my iPhone 12 Pro, but I am recording on that, so Obviously, I'm not going to be pulling it out of the backpack right now. Uh, in the front pocket here, I have my first aid slash med kit. I'm not going to go through every single thing that's in here, but it's got the basics. Toothpaste tabs with a toothbrush, uh, some sunscreen, some chapstick, uh, band-aids, Advil, etc. Things like that. All right, next up we have my trowel. This is the Bogler trowel. For years I used that Tent Labs number two, whatever that's called, the really popular one. And that just ate up my hand. This is much nicer on your hand, so I recommend these. Kind of use with the trowel. I have a bag of hand sanitizer and some toilet paper. Now that's a separate discussion. I don't really use much of the TP for the bathroom sake, more for blowing my nose because of the bidet, but I like to have some as a backup anyway. All right, and then we have my water filtration system. So this is the very popular Sawyer Squeeze. This is the full-size Sawyer, not the mini one. Also in this bag, I have my water bag. And this is the Canuck Vecto 2 liter. This is a substantial upgrade over the generic bags that come with the Sawyer. This is much nicer to use. And also in the mesh bag, I have a little Ziploc bag. So if temperatures are approaching freezing, I can stick the Sawyer in here and then stick that in my foot box of the quilt to keep it warm. And then I have an O-ring and an extra cap for a water bottle. And the last thing in the front pocket is a pack towel. Not a lot of people carry towels, but I like to have one just for cleaning up or wiping down condensation from inside the tent. I find I use it pretty often, so that's sticking around for me. 
Uh, the very top of the backpack here, I have the Mountain Laurel Designs Goodnight EVA foam pad. This was a large one. I cut it to 25 by 72 inches so it fits my sleeping pad. Um, it's taken some abuse over the years. I think it's about time for a new one, but for the most part, it still does its job. I like to stick this under my sleeping pad at night for a little extra protection and a little boost to the R value. And I use it as a sit pad during the day when I'm hiking. Uh, so the pack that I'm using is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Southwest 2400. This is the small ones, the 40 liter pack. So. Now that my gear is kind of lightened up a little bit, I can fit everything in here just fine. All right, so let's open this up and dive in. So right at the top, when I get to camp, first thing I normally like to do is set up my tent. So this is the Gossamer Gear The One. Uh, this is a single wall shelter, pretty minimalist. Um, I used this on the John Muir Trail and ton of other trips since then. This is kind of my go-to tent for multi-night trips, so that's not going anywhere. Uh, this is my food bag. It's empty right now, obviously, but this is just really a, a dry bag from Sea to Summit. And inside here, I have my Tokes long-handled titanium spork. I bring some sort of booze every time hence my trail name, Nightcap. Uh, this is just a uh, Nalgene flask, 10 ounces, got it from REI. But if I include my water bottles, I'm including that also. I have long hair, so I always bring a little hairbrush. My cook system is all in here. So this is the Tokes 750 milliliter titanium pot. And inside here, I have my stove, this is the MSR Pocket Rocket Deluxe, and a full-sized Bic lighter. All right, next up is my sleeping pad. This is the Nemo Tensor. Uh, this is the new version, the insulated version, the 4.2 R value. Um, it's 25 inches wide. I definitely prefer a wide sleeping pad. I am not going back to a standard 20 inch pad, but I love this thing. Uh, this is my little electronics bag. There's not a lot in here, but I like to keep it all kind of consolidated together. Um, so I have an iPhone charging cable. This is the new version. This is the Nightcore NU25 headlamp. And then the battery bank that I usually bring is a 10,000 milliamp anchor. Next up is my pillow, and it's kind of dirty, but this is the Sea to Summit Eros Premium Pillow. My nice toasty jacket. This is the Enlightened Equipment Toward Apex. It's a stock one, and I love this thing. My rain jacket. This is the Outdoor Research Helium 2, I believe. Uh, very lightweight, it's very minimal, like no frills, no pockets, no nothing. It's really just the shell. I pack one extra pair of underwear. With underwear and socks, I like to rotate two pairs, and if I can, try to uh, do a little creek laundry with the, uh, with the dirty pair and let it dry out. So this is my extra pair of hiking socks. Uh, this is my base layer top. This is the uh, Icebreaker 200 Merino Wool uh, base layer. I did forget to pack my base layer bottom, so that does add a little bit of weight. So it'll be just over 12 pounds total for the base weight. Um, but they are the Smart Wool 250 weight Merino Wool leggings. I do like to have a specific pair of sleep socks, so not that I'm going to be hiking in. Uh, these are just some thicker smart wool socks, but I like slipping into a nice, thick, cozy pair of socks at night, especially if they're clean. It just feels nice. And these are a little bit warmer to sleep in than my hiking socks. All right, and speaking of warmth, the beanie that I use is this Outdoor Research Beanie. 
and I have these Manzella gloves. I've had these for a while. I think I just got them from Sportsman's Warehouse. They're nothing special, but they're getting the job done, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, we're getting to the bottom here. So an important piece of gear here is my quilt. This is the Enlightened Equipment Revelation. This is the 20 degree version. This is also a stock version and I love this thing. It has treated me well and kept me toasty down to approaching freezing. And the last thing that I have in here for that quilt is one pad strap. It came with two, but I just like to use the one. So there you have it. And that is a 12 pound lightweight gear loadout. Good for three season backpacking. Now, of course, there's an exception to every rule. This is not what I bring every time, just a majority of the time. My gear list will change a little bit depending on conditions of the trip. Like if I know I'm going into wet weather or really cold weather, I'm probably not gonna bring the Gossamer Gear tent. I'll probably bring my Nemo Hornet or another double wall tent because it manages condensation a lot better. If I'm gonna be getting my feet wet via creek crossings or rain, I'm probably gonna bring a pair of uh, sandals for camp so I can dry my feet out and uh, just let them breathe. If I'm backpacking with my girlfriend, I'm gonna bring a two person tent, not the one person tent. And if I'm just going out for a casual one night trip, I'm bringing my chair. I like that little extra luxury, the one pound is worth it. But a majority of the time, this is what I am taking with me. And honestly, for 12 pounds, there's not a lot I wanna change. But what about you? What's your gear list like? What's your base weight at? What would you change from this if you still wanna hover around 12 pounds or go a little bit lighter without really sacrificing any comfort? Let me know down in the comments. Well, that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you out on the trail. Cheers.